I'm all jazzed up and ready to go. Just got back hanging out with my buddy Hunter real quick. So I'm now, this is going to be something that I'm going to stop maybe doing. I don't know. But this is the weekly update with Warren. Kraken Warren, that's right. So let's jump right into it. We got some good news this week coming out of the Oval Office with our amazing, amazing president, Joseph Robin that Biden Jr., where he turned around, he said, zero inflation in the month of July. Zero. You understand that? Let me read you this prophetic quote here. Zero percent, let me tell you what. That means, though the price of some things have gone up, the price of other things have gone down the same amount. The result, zero inflation last month. End of quote. Repeat the line. Zero inflation last month. Despite this, our members of Congress have come together an amazing act of unipartisanship, and they've turned around and signed the Inflation Relief Act bill. There is no inflation, zero, that means none. But thankfully, our amazing members of Congress came together, they're smart enough to realize that we need an inflation re relief bill to help the, um, all Americans out there. Now, despite this, 230 or plus, or 250, whatever, economists, Economists came together and they said, don't do it, don't do it. They pleaded or whatever. Some way, somehow, in their brains, because they think they got some kind of debris that says uh, economy on it, that uh, they're so fucking smart when it comes to money. Well, let me tell you what, if you were so smart, how come it is that you turn around and you took out student loans? Oh, yeah, not so smart to get that degree. No, no, you weren't so smart, were you? I didn't think so. So, despite that, they said, this is going to actually do the opposite of relieve, uh, relieve inflation. If anything, it's going to somehow, in their puny little brains, increase inflation because it's going to increase taxes for basically pretty much every American. That's what they said. That's what they said. Well, guess what? That's not what our White House is saying, okay? Our White House Press Secretary... And her, the president himself, the vice, everybody came out. They said, nobody under $400,000 income a year is going to be affected. I heard it on CNN just the other day. No one under making under $400,000 a year will be affected. For a long time, began to restore fairness to the tax code, began to restore fairness by making the largest corporate nations and the largest corporations in America pay their fair share with any, without any new taxes on people making under $400,000 a year. That, it, that, that manufacturers would definitely be shouldering a lot of this, 50% uh, of it would, would hit manufacturers. And once that happens, you, you can just connect the dots to workers at those places and to consumers that buy whatever the, the manufacturers are making. And it, it certainly doesn't look like an Inflation Reduction Act. These, uh Economists don't agree, but thankfully, our Congress is smart enough to supersede, uh, you know, they don't have to listen to them. They, they're advisors. That's all they are. They're economic advisors. So at the end of the day, their word means diddly and uh, squat. Anyways, on to the next story. Despite this, the zero inflation, the Inflation Relief Act bill, many people are still out there who in hollering, complaining online, complaining in person on the street, when I'm walking by, they're saying, oh, oh, gas prices, oh, food, it costs so much, oh, guess what, do what I do, um, it's called, it's called food banks, uh, they, they stay provided a lot of them, uh, community churches have a lot of them, I hit one up on Tuesday, I hit one up every other Wednesday, and every Friday, okay? Not that hard. Guess what? It's free. Second of all, as far as gas goes, ride the bus. 
ride share, community transportation. That's what I do. Those buses, despite the fact that they have burned diesel, that we haven't figured out how to do electric buses yet, whatever, ride the buses because it's less cost on the road if we were to get more buses on the road because if we had more people riding the buses, we would need more buses. So you take the cars off the road, you put the buses on the road. And how about this? Go get, out, go get an electric vehicle if you're so worried about it because the basis of this next story is climate change. This is the weather forecast coming up this week in my area. And as you can see, uh, after a three month steady increase of temperatures, unlike we had seen in the previous three months before that, we're talking quarterly here. In the last quarter alone, we saw a huge spike in temperatures. And now, seemingly overnight within the next week, the temperatures are on a sharp decrease. And guess what? The pattern is turning out to be, it's going to be a steady trend of that. Are you happy with yourselves, you fossil fuel burning pigs? Are you happy with what you're doing to the economy? We're seeing the direct effect. They weren't lying when they said we have a huge impact on the climate change. And we are seeing it before our very eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Look outside your window. It was sunny yesterday, cloudy today. The climate's changing, and it's your fault. In addition to reducing global warming in a major way. The IRS has hired a whopping 37,000 brand new agents and employees to the revenue service. What this means after purchasing 46,000 guns and a whopping 5 million rounds, I said 5 million rounds of ammunition Earlier this year, between the dates of March 1st and June 1st, nobody necessarily knows. It's just to go out there and to provide extra service. This is for you, the taxpayer. That's what we've been told this week. Can you understand how 87,000 new IRS agents would scare the heck out of millions of Americans? Well, millions of Americans aren't going to be impacted by that other than getting better service from the IRS, having their telephone answered, getting the questions they need in order to comply with our tax laws. Now, a bunch of right-wing conspiracy nut jobs out there are speculating that the IRS is forming some unofficial militia where they're going to come out and they're going to enforce taxes by gunpoint. They're going to say, listen, you're going to pay up. If you've been serving, getting those cash tips, maybe you've got a little delivery job, you get the cash tips, you haven't been claiming all of them, maybe you only claim 50, 60, maybe even less, 40%. We're coming for you. That's what they're saying. That's what these psychos are out there thinking. Well, that's not what the IRS just said. The IRS is not doing that. I trust them because they go out and they collect the taxpayers' money, and they put it into amazing state and federal programs that go out to help people like me for whatever resources that they need, housing, uh, food, like we mentioned earlier, um, uh, you know, addiction services, free, uh, clean smoke programs where we can go and shoot up and smoke for free. So guess what? If you've got a problem because... All these years, for decades, you've been avoiding and evading paying your taxes? <laughs> Too bad they're coming for you. That's what these motherfuckers out there want you to believe. That's not what the IRS just said. If you heard them, they are going to be going after millionaires and billionaires like Donald Trump, your great or uh, emperor out there and leader, all you maggots out there. That's right, they're going to be going after people like him who, and Elon Musk, who only paid $7,000 in taxes when they make trillions and quadrillions a year. And so, that's what's really happening. They're not going after you. Don't worry about it. They're not going after you for evading your cash tips because... Guess what? They should. 
comply with our tax laws. The auditing is going to be uh, focused on those of high income, the large corporations, etc. So uh, I, I, there's no reason to be fearful. And if you have paid your taxes and if you comply with our laws, you should want to make sure everyone else does that. And in other news, uh, thank God for the FBI. They turned around, they did us all a favor and raided the former fascist dictator, fucking uh, uh, leader, whatever. And uh, now finding out that it's all because he 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 stole confidential fucking uh, uh, nuclear documents, and that's what 100% certified. So you know what happened last time. That, that happened in the 50s with the Rosenbergs. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, who knows? Maybe we'll have some unprecedented uh, times coming where we can get a former president of the United States uh, executed. Uh, you know, fucking... I'm not, I never used to be for, um, uh, you know, the death penalty, but in this case, I'm willing to make an exception for Donald Trump. The death penalty, uh, I'm willing to make the, the exception for that uh, fucking freak. Anyways, um, in other news, the FBI turned around and uh, killed a guy out in the fucking fields who tried to break in. Uh, the suspect vehicle did fire shots uh, during that pursuit. Uh, once the vehicle came to a, to a stop, uh, gunfire was exchanged between officers on scene and the suspect. Uh, at this time, no officers have been injured as a result of this. Uh, some fucking right-wing nutjob extremist. Because of all the Shapiros and Matt Walsh's and fucking Tim Bulls out there, uh, moderates, uh, uh, liberal, uh, libertarian, fucking um, uh, right wing conservatives, all of them clumped together are, uh, you know, <laughs> perpetuating the violence out there. And they all need to be held responsible for this one individual's actions. He went, tried to break into the federal building, the FBI, tried to kill the FBI agents. For what we can only assume correctly is because of uh, the FBI's brave actions earlier this week in trying to take down the former fascist dictator. So, this nut job went out there because of the violence perpetuated online by everybody. They all need to be clumped together. And there's people out there trying to say, uh, oh, hypocrisy, because years ago, the, that guy, he claimed to be a Democrat, went and shot up the congressional baseball game, almost killed Steve Scalise. And all this shit. And it's like, dude, dude, that one guy, that one nut job does not represent the entire Democratic Party, okay? That is not fair to do. You cannot take the actions of this one man and attribute it to this one party. That's not fair. When it comes to us, you guys, though, that's because we're not out there perpetuating the fucking violence online like you. The, the, the mis and disinformations. That's you guys. You all are going to be come together. And that's why the FBI is out there now, and they did this amazing movement where it's been leaked by those uh, scumbags out there, Project Veritas. But now we know the amazing work that's being done. Where the, the FBI has a new terrorist group on their watch list. They're calling it MVE, Militia Violence Extremists. So, uh, you know, any 1776, don't try it on me. Patriotic symbols, the uh, Betsy Ross American flag. We can now go out there and flag these things online and uh, go out there and strip people like that. A lot of these former veterans, you know, suffering from the PTDs and all this, PTSDs, where we can strip them of their guns so they don't go out there and do what this guy just did earlier this week and fucking kill these FBI agents or try to anyways. We need to go out there and actively try to stop this beforehand. We can get the red flags going. So the FBI is now out there and they're, they're marking these uh, um, patriots as terrorists and letting them know we're going to be coming for you so we can prevent things from really happening or say someone is, uh, you know, they follow Tim Pool on YouTube or they follow Ben Shapiro and they post all these extreme, uh, you know, daily wire posts they share to their Facebook, Facebook group. We can red flag them so when they go to try to purchase a firearm to protect themselves or whatever they, they try to say claim it is and but in reality they're trying to go shoot up FBI agents we can stop it we can stop it so thank you so much all the work you've been doing out there Federal Bureau of Investigation knowing that you're keeping the streets safe you're keeping the federal citizens of the United States of America safe 
Hopefully, we'll see a nice resolution to the whole Trump thing. Like I said, I'm not for the death penalty, but the Rosenbergs, we gotta, we gotta play equal playing field. Just because this guy's a former president, just because of, uh, um, uh, executive privilege. No, no, there's no executive privilege. Uh, we should have executed Nixon for Watergate. We didn't. We said executive privilege. That was wrong. Obama, with all the drone strikes, there's executive privilege. That's a little different, though. Obama's a little different. Clinton, Obama, it's a little different. That's executive privilege through and through. But either way, Trump has got to go. He's got to go. Oh, and uh, I fucked up earlier. It's actually 87, uh, 87,000 IRS agents. And uh, them as well, the new ones as well as the existing ones, they all get to use deadly force. That was just passed early this week. So anyways, this has been uh, the weekly updates with Crackhead Warren. The crack's kind of wearing off a little bit, so I got to go fucking call Hunter. Maybe uh, go to the Asian rubber tub next door. Tell him put the hand over here. Give me the fucking pipe over here. So anyways, God willing, I'll be here next week. I love you all. Papa Zah. And uh, yeah, this has been the weekly updates with Crackhead Warren. And maybe I'll see you next time. Maybe not. All right. All right, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can cut it.